Welcome to this week's Batman Universe Comics for Wednesday, February 12th. This week we have Batman Pennyworth R.I.P., written by James Steiner IV and Peter Tomasi, the current writers for Batman and Detective Comics, illustrated primarily by Eddie Barrows, with sections for each Bat Family member by David LaFuente, Chris Burnham, and others. This book will highlight what the Bat Family is doing during the upcoming period of the Bat Family. It's kind of cool to see the two main writers collaborating on this project. We also have Batman and the Outsiders, number 10, written by Brian Edward Hill and Dexter Soy. Looks like Batman and the Outsiders will continue to have conflict. Catwoman, number 20, written by Joelle Jones, drawn by Fernando Blanco. The Mexican plot continues. Comics that are in the Batman universe but not reviewed on the site are The Batman's Grave, number 5, by Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch, providing art. This is still the high-tech mystery, with a lot of Warren Ellis' trademark writing expectations. Gotham City Monsters comes to an end, written by Steve Orlando, drawn by Mr. Nahuelpin. This has Batwoman as a primary character and a lot of supernatural slash technological monster characters. Harley Quinn and I, Poison Ivy number 6 concludes that miniseries by Jody Hauser and Adriana Mello. We'll have to see if this actually progresses the relationship of Harley and Ivy or if it continues on the fairly, I'm going to say playing it safe, refusal to make a statement on whether Harley and Ivy are romantically involved or not. Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey by Amanda Connor, Jimmy Palmiotti, and Paul Mounts providing colors for Amanda Connor's pencils. This is basically a melding of the movie universe as Cassandra Kane, Huntress, and Black Canary are joining Harley Quinn from the Amanda Connor series in the New 52 and Rebirth. If you like the movie, this is the comic for you. Absolutely. It is definitely of the same tone, of the same general aesthetic. Uh, The movie very much pulled from the Amanda Connor run. This is perfect synergy, and I would love to have more of this. I wish they had done something like this for the Aquaman series. They didn't really do anything that was connected to the Aquaman movie. They did sort of have a Shazam series, but that was plagued by delays, which is always a terrible thing. Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul by Neil Adams uh, continues past the halfway mark with number four. We also have Dollar Comics Batman number 567, part of the No Man's Land event. Uh, This is the introduction of Cassandra Cain, written by Kelly Puckett, who wrote her solo series, and drawn by Damian Scott, who drew most of the first three years of her solo series. Very fun um, introduction for Cassandra Cain. Batman the Dark Knight Detective, Volume 3, trade paperback collecting about 10 issues of classic detective comics from the early 1990s. This would be stuff that leads into, eventually, the Nightfall Saga, but that was still a long ways off, at least three or four years, because that was in 1994. But it's really cool. These are really nice collections. I love the second volume of this series, so I'm really glad that it's continuing. Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls trade paperback. This is a collection of the Gotham Girls, Batman, the new animated series, uh, comic adventures, I believe. Fun little thing, really nice art, if you like the animated series style. Uh, The DC Poster Portfolio by Joshua Middleton, a fan-favorite cover artist who, along with Art Germ, has really shaped DC's standard variant cover style since Rebirth began, and they had the standard cover A and cover B program that all DC comics have had, which I think has been definitely fun. It gives you an option to pick at the store. And if you don't really want to buy the books, but you do want to have those pictures on a nice high-quality scale, this poster portfolio is probably for you. That's it for this comics for this week. We'll see you next Wednesday.